There is nothing quite like the rush of adrenaline that comes with that first snap. Despite only ever being on the sidelines, football runs through my veins. It's ingrained in my soul. It's not just because my dad and both my older brothers played in college. It's also not just because there is an extreme beauty to the sport, a delicate balance between skill and instinct. No, football is so fundamentally a part of me for one main reason. Slater Santos. I'll never forget the day the Santos family moved in next door. I was seven years old at the time. Aaron was 12, Ezra was eight, and the dark, curly-headed boy with deep chocolate eyes you could drown in was the same. My mom and dad were inside the house, spring cleaning while me and my brothers played outside. They think they were the first ones to see the new neighbors. I guess they were the first to greet them, but from where I sat underneath the large evergreen tree in the backyard blowing bubbles, I saw him first. He hopped out of the backseat of the black SUV before quietly taking in his surroundings. Even at seven years old, I was already used to living in my brother's shadows. I was the quietest Hayes child, and I was okay with that. I didn't need attention like my brothers so desperately craved from anyone who was around. But when those chocolate eyes fell on me, like two magnets snapping together, I never wanted to be seen more in my life. Unfortunately for me, a rambunctious Ezra came barreling into our new neighbor, stealing his attention as he and Aaron introduced themselves. When I finally worked up enough nerve to leave behind my special spot and bubble wand, I made my way over to where the group of boys were playing tag. The dark-haired boy looked at me for a moment, pausing as he chased after Aaron and Ezra before giving me a smile that had my little seven-year-old heart pattering out of rhythm. I was about to introduce myself, but before I could, he was off, running in the direction my brothers took off. Before I knew what I was doing, I was chasing after him. Even back then, I knew that wherever Slater Santos was going, I wanted to be there. And that's how it always was. Since that day, we have been practically inseparable. Losing my mom to ovarian cancer when I was only 13 was probably the hardest thing I ever faced. If I hadn't had Slater by my side, I don't know if I would have survived it. He's been my rock, my protector, my everything, for as long as I can remember. The second hardest thing I have ever faced? Sitting in the front row as I watched the man I've loved practically my entire life marry someone else. Yeah, that one hurt like hell. I did what I was supposed to despite the crippling pain inside me. I smiled encouragingly when he told me he was going to propose. I even helped pick out a ring Nikki would like. I was there to help him and my brothers when it came to choosing tuxes, and I congratulated them at the wedding while I was choking down tears and nursing a broken heart.